Hello, my name is Bruce Cheney. I would like to demonstrate to you how to uh, silver solder two pieces of steel. They're a uh, quarter inch thick by one inch wide, just little pieces that I've cleaned, put a little chamfer on, and basically I want to demonstrate to you how I silver solder two pieces of metal like that together. I'll be using the Harris products, 45% um, safety seal, 1 16th inch um, brazing wire alloy and the flux I'll be using is safety uh, stay seal and it's also made by the Harris company it's a white brazing flux and that's what helps bond the two together so let's get started here this is the corner of my workbench where I do a lot of my soldering for the handmade items I'm making this is my two pieces of steel that I have prepped. Um, they're quarter inch thick. Um, actually, these are, uh, that's a little more like an inch and a quarter in width. But that'll work just fine for this demonstration. Got a little chamfer on those and they're belt set and clean. And you can actually butt it right up to each other or you can move it back a little bit. So I'm just put it right close to each other, right like that. And that's what I'll solder together with the uh, Harris 45% silver solder. Okay, I've got my torch going already. And it's a Victor torch. It's a small one with a heating tip on it. In some cases, you'll need a bigger heating tip. But what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the white paste flux onto the, the steel where I want the silver solder to flow. As I mentioned, this has been cleaned with a belt sander right up to the edge where I want to solder. And it's good to put plenty of flux on there so that will clean when it's heated. So I set those together like that. And this is what the silver solder wire looks like. I've snipped off a piece long enough to do what I'm going to do here. And I believe my flame's just a little higher than what I want. I'm going to back off a bit, just a little bit, bring it down to a neutral flame right there. Set that back there. And what I'll do is hold the silver solder wire in my left hand there. And what I'll do is I'll heat the back end of the... Um, get the metal hot towards the back and then I'll apply heat towards the seam that I want to solder. Kind of work it back and forth like that on each side. Both pieces of steel need to be hot. The Harris products are really good for soldering and I highly recommend them. I've used uh, Harris Silver Solder for over 30 years probably and uh, it does what I need it to do. Okay I'm getting some heat built up on my piece and then now I can kind of go towards the center and one thing you want to keep in mind is not to burn your uh, uh, flux up if it turns black, it will not be effective. So right now, I think I'm about ready here. I'm gonna start on this side here. And my metal, I, it's a dull red. I can tell it's ready to flow. And I'll just flow that solder right down on there. Like that, and just stop right like that. Then I'll turn that over. There, there'll be some cases where you will not be able to uh, flip your piece over. You'll just have to solder it from the top. And I can pretty much assure you that that is a good tight seal. And just right there, just get off of it just like that. And you can spray a little bit, cool it off. It de depending on your metal though, I, um, I would be cautious, like if it's cast iron, you'll just, um, you have to let it cool off naturally and real slow. And if it's uh, mild steel or some kind of carbon steel, it can, uh, 
uh, well, if it's high carbon steel, I'd let it cool off slow also. But hot roll or a cold roll, you can go ahead and cool it off. That is a good tight bond all the way around that piece of steel right there.